Hey guys, Doberman Philosopher, back making another video. So there's three things I talked about in my previous video that I recommended um, that every man do every year to improve upon himself. And, and this is beyond just the maintenance thing. So just to recap, The maintenance items are, you know, reading books, working out, right, maintaining our fitness, maintaining, uh, increasing our knowledge, um, maintaining our bank account, you know, our finances, keeping our finances in order. You know, our health, but that's kind of a fitness. Another thing I would... I, I, I forgot to mention in the, in the previous video is maintaining our relationships. So, you know, just being grateful of the friendships that we have, reminding our close friends, you know, how much they mean to us, because I think a lot of times we end up taking people for granted and to, um, and our family, if, if, if we have a good relationship with them. But the other, the, the, the other three things that I think we, we need to do in every year, and I'm going to give concrete examples of how I'm doing this, is A, travel somewhere we've never been. Doesn't necessarily have to be international, but it has to be somewhere you've never been. If you could do it multiple times, that's great, but sometimes, you know, once is, is one time is, is, is really good. Um, And the third thing is learn a new skill or improve upon a skill that you already have. So I'm going to give an example of, of each. So this year, I haven't really traveled that much. Um, you know, I went to North Carolina. I went to Missouri. I went to Georgia, Ohio. But those are little bullshit trips. So none of those were very, you know, um, what I, I would really classify as like a real vacation. So I'm going to be going to port. I'm going to be going to Europe for the first time. Never been to Europe, so I'm going to Portugal, Spain, and then uh, Serbia. Okay. Now, um, you know, living in Miami, Florida, obviously these are places that are vastly different. I've never been there. Never even been to the to the continent of Europe. Never been to the eastern hemisphere of the world. So it's, it's the old world, right? I mean, this is going to be very, uh, I'll, I'll get to see how different people, how different cultures live. I'll get to see different, you know, landscapes. So I'm really excited. Okay. Um, doing something that's really difficult. That's the second thing. Something that really tests you. Let me like this. I did a uh, seven day uh, SEER training course in Southern Missouri. SEER, SEER stands for search, um, or I'm sorry, um, yeah. Uh, search, escape, resistance, evasion. It's basically a civilian version of a, of, it's, it's military based training, but for civilians. Basically how to, um, you know, escape an uh, invasion. Uh, you know, a kidnapping, how to survive that. Um, you know, they, they teach you some practical skills in terms of like situational awareness and knife fighting, and um, you know, they they drop you off into into the, uh, a place you've never been. You've got to survive, and you've got you know certain skills to do. So just how to blend into like new environments and not stand out, and. And that was really tough. I mean, the mock interrogation, you know, getting pepper spray, getting maced, you know, 
that was that was really rough in 100 degree weather by the way um then having to run back barefoot to it to the to the base which was about a half mile through the woods that was that was rough so that really tested me you know there were uh nine people that started this only four came out yours truly was one of the four So that was that, that that was something that was really tough, you know. Really, it was it was a rough adventure. Now, Making this video at night, I was kind of work, kind of. Anyways, the third thing that I am doing is improving upon a, a skill. So I've been doing martial arts, you know, most of my life, and um, boxing, you know, whatever. Sorry about that. Wanted to make sure there wasn't a home invasion. So the uh, the other thing I was going to mention is learning a new skill. So I I um I took up boxing again. Right, I've been boxing for the last four months. Uh, I did it last year. Broke two of my ribs. Um, it was out for a little bit. But I've been doing the boxing. And that's important because, you know, um, uh, all right. Boxing. Now, boxing is really important because A, it's fitness, B, you need to know how to fight, and I'm taking private lessons, okay? I'm taking private lessons because I really want to get better. I'm not looking to compete. I'm not looking to be a pro, but I'm looking to be, to be a better, I'm looking to really work on my striking. Max, get that out of your mouth. All right, I think striking is really important in a street fight, and, and the better a boxer you are, the, the better you're, you're going to be. Um, so I've been doing that. You know, um, I've been acquiring more assets. You know, I've been buying um, crypto just a little bit, you know, just, just dabbling, just throwing a few hundred dollars here and there. So I'm, I'm slowly increasing my, my portfolio on that. Um, 
in terms of continuing my education and my career, I'm working with some different people in my industry uh, for some different types of training and, um, you know, expanding my, my overall skill set in that area. Um, and that's important to do. So like whatever you do, whether you're, you know, if you're a real estate agent, you you should be going to seminars. If you're a sales, if you're in sales, you should be going to sales seminars. If you're, um, you know, if you're a, a physical trainer, a personal trainer, you should be going to seminars. You should be picking up a new, a new certification, learning a new, um, you know, uh, something more about nutrition, more about fitness, more about yoga, more about conditioning, whatever it is, strength training, whatever it is that you specialize in. Right. So, you know, you, you, you want to always be growing in your field because that's, what's going to keep you motivated, right? Cause you have new skills, you have new things that you can offer to people. You become more valuable You become more of an expert in whatever field it is that you're doing. Right. So, um, that's really important. You know, another thing that I want to get into is, you know, I'm very pro gun, but I also think that most people that have guns really aren't very effective with them because just because you have a big, big, mean looking gun doesn't mean that you're going to be very useful with it. Right. Um, you can have, you know, uh, a, 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 a $3,000 scar or a Benelli. And, 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 and if you're not actually getting real life combat training, meaning like, professional training then like you're you're you got a false sense of security you know um so you know just like fighting you know guys at the gym who have big muscles who aren't training in martial arts are not going to be very effective in a fight if somebody really wants to try them and isn't deterred by their muscles and it usually deters a lot of people um obviously it may you know it makes you look strong you know you're less likely to be to be you know apprehended by 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 an assailant but that doesn't mean that in an actual situation you're going to be battle tested so like be battle tested at whatever you do you know oh, these dogs just drive me nuts all right so i hope those three things really are useful for you guys a Learn a new skill or build upon one that you already have. I'm building upon one that I already have. Um, B, travel, going to Europe, going to Portugal. It's going to be awesome. And then C, do something that's really fucking difficult that's going to challenge you. And that may, that, that could be any. It doesn't have to be. I mean, I think physical is important. You know, whether that's going in like a, like a, a crucible type thing or, or, um, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be even that. It could be, you know, it could be uh, doing a water fast. You know, I've done 10-day water fast before. It could be going on a silent meditation retreat. It could be, um, you know, just, just doing anything that's really going to challenge you. But I think I think doing something physical is, is, is pretty, pretty important. So that's, hope that... Uh, you know, give you guys some, some useful tips, useful tools, and then um, stay tuned for the next episode.